A favorite game day hangout could soon come down. A Minneapolis based developer wants to buy and tear down the stadium bar on Monroe Street, a change that doesn't sit well with everyone. That's right. News 3's Danica Lewis is outside of the stadium right across from Camp Randall. And Danica, what do we know right now about this proposal? Well, Sarah, the developer wants to build a multi story apartment complex right here behind me for student housing, as well as a floor for commercial space and underground parking. So quite the proposal we're talking about here. Now, this is not a done deal, but with prime real estate right across from Camp Randall, right around the corner from campus, the bar's $1.2 million worth might outweigh the sentimental value here. Pizza, quesadilla. Or soup. You could call Matt Mierta a regular. Every Tuesday. So when he heard his favorite oh, okay. lunch stop. Thank you, dear. Could be sold and redeveloped. I don't like it at all. I think it sucks. While the idea of redevelopment gets personal for many customers, general manager Tom Harburg says it isn't. To me, business is always business, and, and I think that, you know, you have to keep looking at the opportunities that are out there. The proposed design from the Opus Group would replace the restaurant with hundreds of apartments, a floor of commercial space, and an underground parking lot. But for some, this building is much more than a bar. There is a lot of history here. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of people have certainly uh, shared the camaraderie of, you know, of, of students as well as alumni here. No matter how many memories, the city has little say in a potential sale. Essentially, it's the discretion of the owner, and the owner has said, I want to try to go in a new direction. That new direction could take months of committee approvals and neighborhood meetings, but Hesnick says interest in the stadium space is a sign of more money in the city. But we're seeing developers wanting to return to Madison. We're seeing developers wanting to put a shovel in the ground and, you know, build new projects here. For now, the stadium bar stays open still serving the people who may miss it most. It will be sad to see it go away. Now, I was just checking in on the Save the Stadium Bar Facebook page. About 1,500 people invited to that page right now. So certainly an uprising of folks really uh, trying to support this bar here. There's actually a public meeting that's going to be held on December 6th, 6 p.m. at Union South. The city and the developer are coming together to hold that meeting here. And the general manager does tell me, for all you stadium fans out there, that the bar, in some version, could be on that commercial first floor again if this proposal goes through. Not surprising. This one's a talker. Thanks, Danica.